okay we move to the next point it's promise to pay a time barred debt now again it's very important to understand what is time barred debt i know what's a debt debt means that i owe somebody i have to pay somebody but what is a time barred debt a time barred debt is a debt which is barred on account of elapse of time as per the limitations act there is an act limitations act it is a law passed by the parliament and, and in this law a time limitation has been set for various actions to be taken that is let's say there is a robbery that has happened to your in in your house so this act will set a time limit under which you'll have to file a complaint with the police you cannot after let's say 10 years file a complaint with the police you have to file it under the limitations set by this act so for a robbery it is 6 months within 6 months of the robbery taking place you have to file a complaint after 6 months you do not have any legal remedy the law will say you were sleeping for this period in these 6 months i gave you time i gave you 6 months to file the complaint you were sleeping all this while now i'll not help you so for all the legal actions for all the legal remedies that one has under law a time is set a limited period is given to take that action similarly if there is debt and the debtor has defaulted so creditor does not get a lifetime to take the legal action he has to take the action within 3 years now the 3 years is the time which is set by the limitations act under limitations act a person who was to receive payment or who had given a loan or who is a creditor he has to take a legal action that is file fir or file a suit in the court within 3 years now these 3 years are from the date of default now let's say on 1st jan you give a loan to me for rupees 1 lakh now this is payable on let's say this is 2013 and this is payable on 1st jan 2014 i give, you gave me a loan for 1 year now on 1st and 2014 if i do not repay you the money you are my creditor i am your debtor you have to receive money i have to pay it to you and if i do not repay the loan you obviously have a legal remedy with you you obviously have a legal course of action you can go to the court and recover your money from me you can file a suit against me but within what period you have to do it within 3 years within 3 years from which date from the date when this becomes due when the loan or the debt becomes due see you have given the loan on 13 or uh, 1st jan 2013 however it becomes due for payment on 1st jan 2014 so you have to file a complaint before 1st jan 
if you file a complaint if you go to the court let's say on 1st feb 2014 the court will not entertain you the police will not entertain you they'll say you had three years to take action against me you did nothing all this while now we are not going to support you you should have filed a complaint before 1st jan 2017 now that time has elapsed now that time has expired now you cannot do anything now you cannot recover the money with the help of law so what do you think is my position in this case my position is now i become debt free now nobody can enforce or impose on me that i have to pay 1 lakh to you the loan which you had given me so the debtor becomes debt free and such a debt of which the debtor has become free because the creditor did not take legal action within three years such a debt is called time barred debt it's called time barred debt in short a debt which is not paid for more than three years and no action is taken on that it becomes time barred it was payable on 1st Jan 2014 no action was taken till 1st Jan 2017 this debt will become time barred now there is no liability on the part of debtor to repay it creditor cannot compel the debtor to repay it however if the debtor voluntarily on his own accord promises that yes i will repay the debt here i am the debtor and i promise to you on let's say 1st feb 2017 see on 1st feb 2017 i am not supposed to pay this debt there is no liability on my part yet i am voluntarily by my own accord saying that i acknowledge this debt and I will pay you this debt. This contract, does it have any consideration to me? Now I am debt free, yet I am giving you money. Am I getting anything from you? No. So this contract does not have any consideration. This contract is void of consideration, devoid of consideration. Yet the court will say, even though there is no consideration in this contract, this contract is valid. A contract to pay a time part debt is valid, even though it does not have any consideration, it lacks consideration. This contract is valid. The only condition is, this contract should be in writing, it should be written. And it should be registered. So, a written promise to pay a time bar debt is valid. It becomes a valid contract. 